You believe in Hadi Mirza. Oh, yes. And you coached him. Yes. For the Asian Idol finals that he won. No, I didn't. Okay. okay. Which one do you coach him? For which one do you okay. coach him for? I basically, I just coached him as a performer. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to episode eight of season three of the Chris Hansen Conversation. Oh, wow. It's been a great Chinese New Year break. Yep, this is all pre-recorded, but nothing ever censored. I can tell you today on our tribute show to SG's music icon, I've got with me, I've got with me a true icon. We call her Diva. I want to read to you what I found. Someone wrote this in an article and it says, she sings, she dances, she hosts. A combination of a stunning beauty and talent portrays this star, every bit really like a star. It is no surprise that a half-Indian Portuguese songstress keeps people coming back for more after seeing her exhilarating performance. Welcome to the studio, Alia D. Thank you so much. And I call her madam, by the way. I don't see any other way to call her, but call her madam. But I want to clear a muddle up. I also don't know why you call me madam. Respect lah. Oh, respect lah. Yeah. Ah, I, I think if that. I call Anne Hussein madam, she'd, got, she'd be quite angry. But <laughs> <laughs> I never call her madam though. Okay. <laughs> I want to clear a muddle up. People know you, and I really want to find out really. Mm-hmm. Your name as when we, it's been announced for a show, mm-hmm. okay? Do people announce you as Alia, mm-hmm. Alia Sharma, mm-hmm. Alia Dimelda Sharma, mm-hmm. or Alia D? Is there something I don't know? Oh, okay. When I started mm. um, uh, long time ago, lah, okay? Wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't run away from this kind of things. Long time ago is how long ago? Long time, very long. <laughs> Too long. I How can't long? remember the year. I don't give a shit. How long ago? Okay, when I say 19 something, already is long lah, huh? 19... <laughs> something like that. It's not long. Not long ah. Not hard. Okay lah, long for me lah, huh? Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay. They used to call me... Um, Alia, 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 yeah, Alia. Yeah. Okay, but actually, my ma- my name is pronounced Alia. Right. Okay, so it's Alia, and then um, so. And all- you never corrected people about that. Yeah. Why? Cause um, I don't know. I I re- actually you're right. I I don't realize it until you actually ask me. You mean right now? Yeah. Me asking yeah. you now? Only in the in the later years of my career. Hmm. I want it to be known as Alia D. Okay. Okay. Um, it has always been Alia. And right. then after that, um, it was Alia Sharma. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then it became um, Alia D mm-hmm. with a um, apostrophe. Mm-hmm. Melda. Okay. Okay. Uh, My goodness, there's so many identity yes. changes there, yes. man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I just wanted to call be called Aliyah D. Okay, and that is the case till today? Till today. But people still announce you. As Aliyah. No, people still announce you as Alia. Alia, yes. As yes, in yes, Ginger. Yes, sorry. Yeah, Alia. <laughs> and, uh, you, 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 actually, actually, <laughs> to be honest, to be honest, yeah. uh, that's the most easiest way for people to remember my name. But but it's not right, isn't it? Yeah, but you know, as long as as uh, I'm on stage, nothing else matters. You know, <sighs> I'm 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 like that. You know, I'm gonna of do course, you a favor. Of course, like mm-hmm. it's a, a bit uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. You know, no, no, when no. they say of like, of course, uh, it's uncomfortable. Uh, they will say like, "Hey, what's your name?" Uh, Alia. Oh, te Alia. Yeah, okay, whatever rocks your boat, oh, you know. Oh kind of man, thing. no, I'm gonna do you a favor, man. Once and for all, once for freaking all. Everybody, any one of you out there who do work closely with Alia, it is pronounced as Alia. And please, for goodness sake, stop 
calling her Alia. Alia. Because Alia. that one really is ginger. La. <laughs> okay, and it's so funny, you know, madam, you know why? Because yeah. I keep having people that get, got something to do with ginger in my studio. Really? Why? <laughs> hey, ginger is very good to... No, 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 no. No, I mean, oh, yeah. I've got, I've got, the good people from Gingerbread that were, that were here in season two. <laughs> okay. Then I had, then that, that was Anne and Jason. Then I had Dudley known as here, also from Gingerbread, you know. And then now I got, really got a ginger here. So you got a real ginger here, <laughs> see? But seriously, I mean, to me, right? I mean, come on. If, if, if you feel, any artists feel uncomfortable the way the names are being pronounced, they ought to correct people. Yeah. And if it's Aaliyah, then it's Aaliyah. So let me get this straight again, once and for all, Right now, today, and moving forward, your stage name, should I ever have another time where I, as a host of a show, have to announce you, it is Aaliyah D. That's right. Okay, good. Aaliyah, then I got it right. Aaliyah D. <laughs> I want to just go to this particular question that I I ask of all of my guests, um, almost all. And uh, this one is going to be a very common one. Um, in your own words and in your own mind, can you tell everyone, tell me, who, just who is Aaliyah D? <laughs> who am I? Mm. I'm everlasting, always changing. Always changing, that's for sure. What do you mean by changing? Changing in terms of... Um, um, everything, uh, the way I look in life, my taste of music, my uh, fashion sense. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I always want to evolve, you know. So if people were to say, uh, Aliyah is, okay, we're talking about music here. Okay, right, for right. For example, for music, people say, oh, Aliyah is um R and b singer. Mm. I like R&B music, but I'm not an R&B singer. Mm. Aliyah's loves uh, Aliyah's a rock singer I love rock music but I'm not a rock singer okay Aliyah is a pop singer I would more relate more to pop so you actually would once and for all state yeah. it for a matter of fact yes that what you are truly mm -hmm. you're a pop singer I'm a pop singer okay, okay. but not that you cannot do rock yeah I can do whatever you give me you do jazz as well I do jazz music I mm. do R&B I do hip hop I rap I you give me anything I'll do okay I'll do it you know so quintessentially you are truly a diva uh, wow that's yeah, what? a very big role to play no that's diva. what that's the title of this show the tribute to you really is that you're a diva wow I'm because so because I've heard, come on, come on. I, I've heard you sing. And not everyone, as a matter of fact, I've never thought there was anyone for that matter throughout my entire life and career that have sung not just once, several times with me there in the audience and actually made me tear. Really? Yeah, wow. you have. <laughs> the only other person that's done that to me was James Ingram. <laughs> Yeah. You know, we went for the James Ingram concert, right? Uh -huh. And when that guy started from big, from the start of his concert to the end, I was literally in tears. Mm. Now, that's how, that's how artists, you know, singers, if they can do that, they, 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 it's like osmosis. Mm. They get that emotion out of you. Yes. And then you know, that's brilliant. That's a brilliant singer. Yeah. Like what you said to me earlier on this, today, there's got to be some feeling to the song, right? Yeah, most definitely. There you go. And and you do that. And a diva is what? Someone who can really go at any genre, like mm -hmm. what you just said. Mm -hmm. You're a diva. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, and, uh, and as I've said also to the rest of the guests that I've brought on the show for this tribute series, that I do not treat this tribute series lightly. Uh... Mm -hmm. Not lightly at all, because I really want to make sure that the people I bring on mm -hmm. are people who truly are deserving of this. Aww. And you're here. And I'm very, I'm actually very chuffed and very proud of the fact that you're seated next to me. Oh, wow. Really, really, I am. And you said that you want to evolve, just like Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> evolve through the times, right? Yeah. Um, and I think I've seen part of that mm. where you are concerned. But I want to bring up this interesting 
picture. <laughs> oh my gosh! So you're going back to almost the very beginning. I'm assuming uh-huh. that this is the very beginning. Kai, can we put out uh, there? You go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Alia D from God knows when. How old is this picture? How long ago is this? What year? Not that long. Really? It's not that long. You're shitting me. Come on. Okay. If you were to say this, no, really, this was um, 2014. Hello. 10 years ago. Yeah. How can you say that wasn't long ago? Wasn't that long. 2014. Look at that face. I'm gonna, I just want to ask you. Pouting, yeah, 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 yeah. What's with the pout, huh? Because <laughs> I'm numb with dyslexia. You know? no, 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 no. I want to try that. How do you do that? How do you do that? Show me, show me. How, how, how do you do that? You, you just chin down. Okay, chin down. Okay. Mm-hmm. Eyes on the camera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, pout a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yes? Mm-hmm. No, not, that's too much <laughs> pouting. Okay, okay, okay. Just let your lips go. Um... Uh, um. Yeah. There um. you go. Don't um. 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 Yeah. Shucks. Okay. 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 <laughs> Kai, I'm sending this to you, Kai. Kai, I'm sending this to you. Uh. Uh. Hang on a sec. <laughs> hang on a second. Okay, really, 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 really. I. I was. You know. I was. I prepared all that. All that stuff on that you saw on screen, right? And you know, uh, I. I've been asking, uh, why is this woman? Why is, does she have that? pouty lip thing and then <laughs> and I've been trying to do that shit <laughs> and unsuccessfully so 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 I've, I've just sent this to Kai let's let's put this up side by side <laughs> Lama, you. <laughs> let's put it up side by side let me see whether I succeeded uh, no 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 I'm not going to pressure Kai because Kai is just going to Chris Kai, is doing this to me if you see anything uh, different then I think you should edit it a little bit huh? <laughs> okay <laughs> Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> I was looking at it, but I said, "But yeah, ten years ago." Yeah. Well, I gotta admit, though, when I saw that picture, I had to blink a few times mm-hmm. because it didn't look like the Aliyah I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It doesn't at all. And if you say ten years is not a long time, yeah, then really there is a stark difference. Yeah, of course. I'm not saying you look worse now or look, you know, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you, 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 you I had to really decipher, is that a Leah D? You know? And that's why I picked that picture. Then, of course, I noticed it. <laughs> see? See? <laughs> it was my picture. Put my picture up. <laughs> hmm. Almost there, bro. What do you mean? Almost there. Come well, on. If you, have, if you have thicker lips, then, you know, you've got that angle. <laughs> The angle okay, okay, a your picture bit. is up. Your okay. picture is up. Now, Kai, Kai is, uh, here yeah, we go. See? You know what I mean? <laughs> and the angle is there, right? Look at the camera straight. And then you pout your lips. You go, um, there you go. <laughs> see? So okay. do you still do that kind of thing now? Yeah, of course. Oh, Especially crap. if I want something from my husband. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> It works all the time. <laughs> Please don't teach my wife that. <laughs> <laughs> so when 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 you when you started, yeah, let's go back to the very beginning, shall we? Mm-hmm. What year was? I mean, not no, no fuck, fuck the year. Yeah, how old were you when really? Was... Your very first time that you know. Okay, my career started when I entered Asia Bagus. Oh wow! Uh, that was in the year. God knows in heaven, I don't know lah. Whatever year it was, but <laughs> it was a long time ago. Um, I've always wanted to be a singer since I was a little How girl. old were you then for Asia Bagus? Asia Bagus, I was 15. Wow. 15 years old. And um, um, I got into the weekly champion. And mm. then after that, the monthly champion. Right. And then I went on to the grand finale finals. Right. But I lost uh, on the grand finals. Um, Who do you lose to? A Malaysian um, singer. Um, he Well, it's very sayang that one, you know? Uh, why? Because... So sayang. Why? I could have won it, man. Jay, like, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I mean... Why? My Why? ideas was fresh. Right. 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 It's just that if I were to had more 
guidance or somebody to guide it, guided me through the competition. Right. Right. And advise me accordingly. Mm-hmm. I think I would have gone a little bit more further. Did a Malaysian winner, did, did he or she, uh-huh. was it he or she? He. Did he have any guidance that you're aware of? Um, it, his, his performance was good and simple. Mm-hmm. And it was a, a, a very uh, acceptable song. Mm-hmm. I think if I wasn't, if I'm not mistaken, he sang Heaven Knows. Everybody loved Heaven Knows. Okay. okay. Rick Price. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, in a competition, mm-hmm. okay, a singing competition, right. the most, one, not the most, but the one of the important thing to do in a competition is picking the right song. Yeah, selection. For you. Yeah, okay. You know, yeah. for your voice, yeah. for you. And yeah. not just because it's popular at that moment right. and you think, you know, you're like, oh my God, this is like my favorite song. And then you want to sing for a competition. Can you do that again? Oh my God, oh, this is like my favorite, favorite song. song. <laughs> you know? You know what I mean? It's, so I did that. I love. So wait, the grand finals, I sang the song called Just One of Them Days. What? Never heard of it, man. Okay. It's from. A R and B singer, right? Uh, Monica. Okay. okay. Uh huh. Now that song was very popular uh-huh. amongst young girls like me. Oh, at so that time. you were one of those gundus who went to pick ah. a song that we shouldn't have picked, lah. Ah, that oh. song you can sing for a show, can lah, right. but not for a competition. But you were fifteen years old, lah. Oh, fifteen years old. I said, oh my gundu, god, la. I'm gonna nail this song. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> Only when later on in, in life, uh-huh. when I actually read the the song, mm-hmm. the lyrics to the song, then I could understand. It's like, ah, no wonder I picked this song because the song is basically about PMS. What? You're PMS. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> just one of them days when I want to be on my own. Just one of them days when I got to be on my own. Don't take it personal. <laughs> I just want to be on my own. Yeah, something like and that. then the background singers go, cramps, cramps. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, but, but honestly, I picked that song. I love that song. Um, but it was a very difficult song to sing, mm-hmm. especially the beginning, the intro to the song is a cappella. Okay. Okay. So it just had, um, uh, uh, I think a metronome or something going like, okay, right? Yeah. So you have to know the beat yeah. to go yeah. in. Yeah. The beat, never mind. Mm. The key also, you have to start yeah. on the correct key. Of course. Right? Yeah. So you just imagine, I came out first when, when Najib and uh, I think it was um, the Japanese girl um, uh, introduced me. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, from Singapore, Ali, uh, uh, Alia or something like that. <laughs> So I came out. Terrible, these people. Let me mispronounce oh, your name. Oh, all it. Okay. <laughs> I came out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I wore, to me, I wore the most coolest outfit at okay. that time. Lah, okay. Because at that time, TLC was here. Yeah, yeah. Hit, right? Waterfalls. So, yeah. so, so they had um, mm. like their boxes showing. Right. So that's what I had. I had baggy pants. Mm. Okay. I had my boxer Tommy Hilfiger boxer showing <laughs> and like a black and white bodysuit and they I had short hair but they actually tied my hair like very little like small small like like Coolio oh dear lord <laughs> okay so at 15 you have your skin also not so good okay. because you have like pimples popping out here and there right, right. so Japanese is known to have if you're at the age of 15 you don't wear a lot of makeup Right. So they just make it more shinier. Right. right? You're already having oily skin. Yeah. You put more shiny and I'm like, why do I look why do I look like my mother's frying pan? <laughs> you know? Uh-huh. But okay lah. Okay, so just never mind. And my hair is all going up and down, you know, going like that. And I said, okay, never mind. I will woo them with my dance move because before I was a singer mm. or uh, get into uh, got into singing, I was also a dancer. Who is it? Yeah, wow. so um, I came out and just rumba lah, just rumba <laughs> like that, you know, at the age of 15. Ah. Right. <laughs> and then Najib's like, wait, 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 wait. I can't remember this very clearly. Najib said, wait, 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 can you do that again? And then he came 
in front of me. Najib is also great. You know, his 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 um his ideas are also as very fresh. Okay. You know? So he liked that idea of a 15 year old girl trying to be very trendy. Da, 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 right. da. He was. I can feel it that he was rooting for me as well. Right. Right. So and Singaporean. Then, yeah. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. But I I think no no he's he's like he 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 knows a talent when he sees one. Okay. You know, and I think he knew that this girl can make it. Okay. You know, because I felt it. Every step of the way, I felt when I get on stage, I felt it. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, I'm going to woo these people. Okay. Right. So I did that, you know, thing. And he asked me to do it again. And then we did it together. Whatever. Like, oh, okay. That was it. So he said, okay, are you ready? He says, yeah. So oh, before that, they interviewed me a little bit and asking me because I have Indonesian blood. Right. Right. And the grand finals was in Indonesia. Right. So, um, and I spoke a little bit of Bahasa, Bahasa. right? Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, we started a song. I couldn't hear when to come in because it was held outdoors, okay. right? Thousands of people. And you couldn't hear the metronome. I couldn't hear, right? Mm. I, had, I was like, oh my God, I can't hear it. I can't. So I just wing it. Lah, okay. You know? Okay. So I went. Just one of them days and I want to be on my own. It went the wrong key. Oh, no. So when the beat came in, yeah. it was not just one of them days. It was just one of them days. Oh, dear. And, 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 and then I was trying to adjust to the key, mm. but I couldn't hear it. Mm. So it was all over the place. Right. Right. From the beginning to the end. So a lot of things went wrong for you. For totally the wrong. Ah. So you said uh, if only if you've got someone yeah. to have mentored you perhaps? Yes. Okay. So this is where I, I, I will have to ask. Mm. Did you ever, mm -hmm. even after that, mm -hmm. have a mentor? No. But you only, knew. Only when I got into singing nightly. Okay. Okay. And I'm a very um, observant girl. Right. I have an eye for performers. Okay. Okay. Not so much of singers, mm. but performers. Mm. I wanted, I love watching people who control the stage, okay. that control the audience. Mm -hmm. And that's where I learn. Okay. And I was lucky that I started with a, very established band mm -hmm. and established a uh, performer who was my partner at that time. And which band was this? This was Raw Energy. Okay. Okay. Mm. And um, Raw Energy was fronted by a male singer. His name was Winzel. Okay. Winzel. Okay. So Winzel is an American uh, mm -hmm. singer, mm -hmm. a black guy. And he, oh, can I say black guy? Yes, of course uh, you can. <laughs> African American. He, I mean, he's, he's, He's a black guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he is the type of performer that when you're watching him, you're going like this. Why? Because you want to move. Oh, okay. You just want to move. He's like from the bin, from the get go to the end of the night. Mm, full of the, energy. Full of energy. <laughs> and zero energy. Okay. Yeah. And he sings when he sings a song. You can literally see um, smoke coming up from his back. Steam. Yeah. Okay. You know, wow. that's how much energy he has. Wow. He's very disciplined. Mm -hmm. He doesn't drink. He mm -hmm. doesn't smoke. Mm -hmm. He he walks from home. Well, he he was staying at that time, I think it was at uh, Caldecott Hill. I think. You know, not Caldecott Hill. Sorry, sorry. The one at the back of um, uh, Carpage Centre, was it? Uh? Oh. Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh. Ka Kavanaugh Road. Yeah. yeah Kavanaugh so Road, he'll yeah. walk from Kavanaugh Road all the way to um, Papa Joe's. That's the okay. first place I performed. Okay. Papa Joe's. Yeah. Which is the old Pranakan place. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. it was just amazing to watch him perform. Okay. You know, so I learned so much from him and he was looking for a female singer at that time. Okay. Um, and, um, I happen to know him personally because I was his backup uh, dancer. Right. Right. So whenever he does shows, mm. uh, he will always be backed up by two uh, or three or four uh, dancers. Right. So I was one of his dancers. This is more like a show band. Uh, no, this is 
when he does solo, he does a lot of events doing solo. Right. Right. So um, he was the resident band and he was also the entertainment manager of Papa Joe's. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. So he handles all anything to do with entertainment. Right. Um, so he was looking for a female singer. And um, at that time I was, Jamming, mm -hmm. okay, jamming. After this is this is after way after Asia Bagus, okay, okay. And I was doing little shows here and there, you know, um, more to like, um, still stuck in that alley where you wanna go, yo, what's up, you know, all that 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 feeling, feeling. Because right. I was very, I was like very into um hip hop music, R and B music, you know. But you were time. always dying. To yeah. somehow get this into your system, yes. into your life, yes. perform. Perform. How That's old all... were you when you first recognized that this is what you want? Uh, I'm jumping a little bit. I'm sorry. Sc school. School. Yeah. If you meet any of my primary, primary school. Primary school. Primary school. Okay. Okay. And, and I think that I was before primary school. So I was still, I wanted to be a singer because I remember at 10 years old, Okay, my parents brought me to uh, Changi Europa. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's this another club called... Um, and they let you in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, some uh, some Katong club. Um, Katong? In Katong. Uh, oh, Honky Tong. Yes! <laughs> my dad will bring me to Honky Tong, put right. me and my sister up on stage. Right. And I remember we will sing this either... I'm so young and you're so mm, old. Mm. This my yeah, Diana, because Diana. that's my mom's name. Right. Right. Uh sing Diana or Dreams. <laughs> dreams, dreams. We were so young, 10 yep. years old, right? Yep, yep. Um, then you Changi Europa, so I went on stage and I sang right here waiting for you. Oh, you know. Richard Marks. Yeah. And I was singing together with who know? Mm. Adam and Ben. Oh. Okay, and that's <laughs> a, I, the, I tell you uh, the history of all this, and then mm. when I became an uh, established performer, right. I worked with all these people. Mm. You know, and I it was just amazing, and I I started to like think I'm like from the time you were a small little girl, yeah, I don't and know then who you end up working, working with these guys, huh? Working with them, you these know, these guys were juggernauts, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, and then. I could, of course, I cannot call them uncle anymore. You know, <laughs> I'll call them by their names. You know, and then uh, of course, next time I see Stephen Francis, I'll call him uncle. <laughs> 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 you know, me and Stephen bra is bra. What's up, bra? What's up, bra? <laughs> but yeah, so um, uh, yeah, so it was at the age of ten years old because mm -hmm. my household was always music singing. Every how so? How so? I mean, I'm trying to understand that bit. Uh, household. Uh, how so? I mean, in your household, um, in your household, yeah, we mom, dad, my they, dad, my dad. Uh, no, my dad was. Um, I wouldn't say muso, but he was. Um, in his younger years, he was hanging a lot with uh, bands like Flybaits and all that, wow, you know. Wow. So jamming with them and mm. all. He's always into music, also, you okay, know. So 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 he was into music. Yeah. And and then every time in the house, yeah. there have been music playing somehow. Yes. Exactly at 5 p.m., this is the time where we have tea time at home. Hmm. Okay. So during tea time, mom and. Quite a Eurasian thing. Yes. <laughs> Eurasian household. My father's half Eurasian, one, right? Okay. So my grandma will make, uh, and, and my mom will prepare coffee, mm. tea or whatever, mm. all this, yeah. you know. And then dad will either take the guitar or take uh, go to the organ. Uh, organ. Uh. <laughs> not, not, not piano, not keyboards, uh, organ. Okay? okay. And then he'll play. Yeah. And then he say, children, come. And then he'll say, he'll play a song and then he will sing it and we will listen. We will not listen to his singing. We will listen to his, the words right. of the song. Right, the lyrics. Okay. Yeah, the lyrics of the song because uh -huh. every song, he always tells us, every song has a story. If it, if the story captures your heart, you'll be able to uh, relate and you'll be able to uh, 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 deliver it well. Mm. Mm. So the song that really caught my attention was Tommy and the Lovers. Oh. Na, 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 get everything. And my flowers, father, presents, presents. And most of all, the wedding, wedding ring. ring. <laughs> you know, I would ask him to sing it over and over, right? And every Tell time he Laura sings, I love, I love her, her yeah. yeah. And every time he sings it, I will cry. Mm. And then my 
sister and my brother will have the kick out of watching me cry. This is again, again, <laughs> again, again, you know? So yeah, so we were always, and then he will ask us to practice songs. He will say, okay, I'll play this song. You learn, okay? You know, so then we'll, we we'll always so have safe, that. So safe, safe to say then that influence was your dad in the yeah. home, right? Yes, yeah. Why I ask this, and I ask this of every one of my guests uh, on the, my tribute show, and the, and everyone says that it starts started from the home, yeah. Uh, except for Danny Lung. Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Except for Danny, watch the episode when it comes okay. out. Okay, uh, it's really interesting. He's the only one that's different. Okay. Uh, but for musos, I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about the radio DJs because I've got the radio. I've got radio DJs on the show as well. Sure. Okay. Um, but oh well. To be fair, um, one of them did say that the influence came from the home. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, it's always about that. I think for most people, yeah, it's really. I'm trying to find to find out what makes a great muso mm-hmm. or entertainer tick. You know, how did it all happen? Mm-hmm. The origin of it all, and it's really the home. Yeah, nine out of ten so far. Yes. it is from the home. Yeah, you know, and and I think that's 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 a pretty cool thing. Yeah. Uh, well, also <laughs> one more thing mm. besides. Um, um, having lots of influence from home. Yeah, you daydream. Okay, can you, you can you, you daydream? Expound on that. So you when you when you have music in inside, mm. it makes your heart, you know, in a certain way, mm. you know, and then you you just feel it, and then also you are influenced by all this. Um, uh, uh, when you hear a song, you want to know who's the singer. When you see the, who the singer is, you want to see them perform, mm. right? And back back in the day, they don't have like, uh, you have only certain time, only certain channel, TV, Tiga, I think they'll have MTV, right? Um, and then you, 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 you're only able to catch a glimpse of those, right. you know, performances. And then uh, I get the kick of watching live shows, right? you know, live Performances from Elvis to to sometimes they have like 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 a, a back in the day you know they bring mm-hmm. all the old, old yeah, song yeah. you know the retro and, stuff come back yeah and then you you watch wow mm-hmm. so amazing you know mm-hmm. and that kind of thing so then you daydream yeah, yeah. you doing it yeah, you said right right you're yeah, like yeah, oh yeah. I want to be this person yeah 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 I know you're right? oh hell yeah when you be this person <laughs> you cannot sing also you take the microphone or my, not microphone lah what my, for me it was comb. Yeah, comb. <laughs> ah, comb, right? A brush lah, brush yeah. Take brush, wall, and stand in front of the mirror, just like wow, dance and sing, you know. You know, it's so yeah. weird, no. You know that thing about taking the brush and just like, comb, 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 brush, comb, right? Yeah. I used to do stupid things like that too. I'm sure. <laughs> and you know why? I I had this real fetish. <laughs> Alama, <a> fetish. <laughs> about no, really. Okay, I had okay, this okay, real okay, fetish okay. About microphones, man. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound fucking right, right? Fetish of microphones. Okay. Uh, what? Do you say? Okay. Well, well, it really, doesn't sound right. But let me let me okay, let okay, me, okay, qual- let me yeah. qualify. <clears throat> I have this thing about microphones, mm-hmm. and that's why I I buy mics and I keep buying mics, and I even got one in the arm. You know, uh-huh. and I, you know, walk yes. around with a microphone. Yeah. It's a thing. Uh, uh, holding on to a mic, yeah, it's something that from young you want to do. You just mm. mimic someone, and you yeah. just get the mic, and then you just go like that. Yeah, you know, uh, it, yeah, I, I, I can, I can completely understand yeah. that and appreciate that. You know, and to this day, to me, when I see anywhere, God, even on Shopee, <laughs> if I see mics. Miles on El Chipo and don't see. Then I just wonder, oh, this one is wow, yeah, you know, yeah. And it still gets to me, man. I, it's a thing that that I I just cannot explain. Yes. Yeah, and I I appreciate what you just said very much. So influence came for you also mm-hmm. from the home. Yes. Right. And then, did you did your folks ever tell you either one? No, don't be, don't do this. No. Never. Really? My, yeah. my dad calls me my little Madonna. Wow. <laughs> and he used, he travels a lot, my dad. Yeah, yeah. And he'll always write love letters to each and every one of well, us Oh, that's at home. so sweet. One for mommy, one uh-huh. for Angie, one for 
uh, Alia, mm. one for Nico, mm. uh, one for uh, Auntie Dinah, wow, you know. That's really sweet. Uh, and, and yeah, and then say, by the way, say this to uh, to Mama, which is uh, my grandma, right? right? So because Mama couldn't read, okay. right? So he has letters for us every and when he was away for for months 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 you know he was away for months and then mm-hmm. he'll write letters and telling us about blah 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 and he'll always sign off uh oh he always address me address me as my little madonna you know um and he he always say that uh, how you um are you still listening to this 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 you know and then he'll go uh, but don't forget your studies and of course parents will be parents lah right and then he and he, but he always tells me uh, I was not very academically strong right right and he knew that you know and he'll uh, after he passed away yeah um my my mom showed me a letter that he wrote to her that said that if Alia does not do well for her studies mm-hmm. this year mm-hmm. don't be too hard on her wow wow she has um she has a lot of other uh capabilities and abilities mm. you know um, and coming from a dad means a lot mm, huh? oh yeah you know especially from dad yes uh, i mean N- nico and uh, angie which is my my siblings yep. both of them uh, both of them can study lah huh? i no, you know they kind of. I'm like no. I'm from the get go. I'm like music, 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 everything music, and I was always the one who plans to, uh, like there's birthdays, there's Christmas, um, Hari Raya, uh, um, anniversaries, um, all the celebration when we have gatherings at home. Mm. There's always the S five is always performing. S five S is for Sharma, okay. okay, which is our our surname. <laughs> so he's like the Jackson Five. <laughs> yes, we call ourselves the S <laughs> five, and we will say, okay, later we have performance, okay, uh-huh. and then all the older folks will be like, okay, 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 we we practice first. Mm. So we we'll go inside the room, mm. lock the door. And I'll be like, okay, you stand here, you stand here, you stand here, you stand here. Okay, all right. This part, okay, we move left, left, right. right. I will organize everything. Right. Okay. And then we'll pick the song and then we'll perform. Wow. Beach so Boys. Fun. Beach Boys la. Uh, our song was Coco Moe. Then I'm like, uh-huh. down a Coco Moe. Coco Moe. Um, Jason Donovan and Kylie Minogue. Right? Oh, especially, especially for you. For you. <laughs> yeah, that. It was just like, Shows all the way, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, so yeah. I knew that this is this is really me, man. You know, so and you pursued it, yeah. Uh, it started at Papa Joe's, mm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and what happened from Papa Joe's? What happened? I mean, how did you progress on? Okay, um, I was very young, right? Eighteen. Mm. I started seventeen. Wow. Seventeen. I was still underage at that time, ah, uh, to go into clubs. But I was going to be 18, ma. Okay. Right? But still, 18 was still, uh, for guys cannot go to clubs. Cannot, yeah. Girls can. Yes, I right? know. Right? Yeah. Okay, so, Papa Joe's. Um, um, from Papa Joe's, can you just imagine when I got into the band? Mm. Of course, the musicians were not happy, la. Okay. You know? Musicians were not happy because um, this is established musicians right they got no time for bullshit they not right. they have no time for young young girl who don't know how to sing properly only know how to gile right you know that was the assumption la. yeah you know right. and then so they came to they out they told Winslow straight up they said it's her or us wow then what happened and Winslow just said I'm sorry to feel for y'all to feel that way you guys can leave so the whole band left. So he actually he picked made me. that choice. Yeah. So obviously, people may think, huh, this one was, you know, <laughs> Gigi Gigi with a singer. Huh? You know, that kind of thing, right? Then, but I was a young girl and I was so like, you know, like, oh, and I felt hurt, mm-hmm. right? I said, Wins, I can go. Keep the guys, you know, keep mm. the guys. And this is, no. Then he says, it's hard to find a, uh, uh, it's easy to find singers, yeah. but it's hard to find entertainers. Wow. You can be an entertainer. Right. So. Would you care to 
to maybe, you know, dissect that a little bit for the non-muso audience yeah. watching the show? Okay, there's a difference between a singer and an entertainer, okay? A singer, they're technically fantastic. Mm. They pay close attention to technicality. Right. Breathing. Right. Okay? And it, it, it's like you, 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 they can do runs like, you know, and, and, and all that stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. But an entertainer, you put, that person anywhere and everywhere they will be able to perform any right. song so basically someone who's technical care about your scores mm. care about everything else that makes up a performance yes but the entertainer is a person yeah. that cares more about the audience yes you have to because they are the ones who are watching you mm. if they're happy you're happy mm. right you know, funny you said you mentioned. I, I wanted to, to do this later on ah. in this part of the of the show. Okay, but since you brought it up, mm. runs. Mm. What are runs? <laughs> what are runs? Yeah, uh? vocal runs. Uh? Uh, okay, stop there. Okay, okay, because I have always hated that shit. <laughs> I brought something ready, uh, Kai. You know the whole assortment, <laughs> the samples file. Yeah, oh I, I I just want to ask you, <laughs> the okay. diva, Ooh. since you uh, okay, you listen. Ooh, to, I heard her. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. That came quite. That was a premature thing, Kai. You're too young to be premature that way. Um. So, <laughs> okay, listen to this. Okay, and then now we're going to have this one. Okay, listen to this one. I keep on falling in love with you. Then, then, then comes this one. This one's a little longer though. For a reason, because that guy was ridiculous. I can't. <laughs> Hang on, stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 Kai. Okay, stop there for a moment. Um, reason why I brought this up, because you said the word runs, vocal runs, right? Oh, I tell you, it gives me the damn, damn runs. <laughs> And I can see you were completely thoroughly fucking enjoying that. It's not, I'm not saying it's not nice. I'm just saying it's all over the fucking place. Mm -hmm. it, it, everyone at that time, mm -hmm. at that time was doing it. Mm -hmm. Then it, and these were the, well, well, Mariah is not young. Mm -hmm. From Mariah to uh, Alicia Keys mm -hmm. and to, of course, the old, the old now, boys to men. Mm -hmm. And then it went on to the Timberlakes and to, yeah. you know, and then, my God, I mean, and uh, what's the name now? Um, there's Britney and there's, no, Britney doesn't do that. Mm. Who's the other girl now? Jeannie in the bottle. Uh, 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 Christina Aguilera. Thank you very much. Christina yeah. Aguilera. I'm seeing, I'm getting old. Yeah. So, and it transcended down to these people. Yeah. And every time you hear a freaking song back in the day, mm. so many runs going on, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, then it's a trend kind of thing, mm. you know, and, but it really got really annoying. Well, mm. as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. right? And what technicality are you talking about? I think it's so. F mm. I, I, I think I I understand what you mean. Okay, um, but okay, what was your question? No, it's not a question. I'm just making a point. Okay, and I'm wondering whether or not you got anything whether, to say about whether that. I share the same sentiments. Yep. Okay, for me, they do it because they can, <sighs> right? And. <laughs> Don't believe These, I'm hearing that. Really, honestly, they do it because they can. Okay. And this is the same. Uh, I, I asked myself, how the hell do they do that? And I try. Some people want it all. I can't do it. You can't? I can't. 
I don't have that runs. My husband can do it. My mm-hmm. husband's a singer, right. right? He can do runs like boys to men, like, you know, all this. And I always tell him, I've been a singer longer than he has. Right. And I said, darling, I cannot do that. He said, you can. I said, I cannot. He said, no, you can. You really can't? He tells me that I can do it when I don't realize it. Huh. When I feel it and and I send, sing certain songs, mm-hmm. I'll be able to do it. Okay. You know, I said, oh, okay. So my take is this. They do it not because they want to flex. Lah. Okay. Okay. They do it because they were influenced by singers who did it like gospel singers you know, a lot of gospel singers um, do that. Okay. Right? Black gospel music. Yes. Okay. So when they grow up in that kind of environment, mm-hmm. right? It's always, they follow um, um, uh, um, the, the singers that they hear. You just got too overbearing, man. Because everywhere you go, you hear the same thing. Yes. For me, uh, for me personally, mm. if you ask me, mm-hmm. Um, Mariah Carey when she sings that song you know runs like yeah, 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 you know yeah, and oh stuff gosh, like that yeah. right and then you hear Whitney Houston and I don't Houston. listen to her man I don't want to listen to her yeah uh, certain songs of Mariah I love okay Okay. certain songs Whitney doesn't really do it no exactly because she is it's a style it's a style that they're going for you know mm. Britney Spears she don't do it it's because probably she can't, can't do, it, do it yeah right yeah. she can't do it yeah. and she's more of um more of like oh, yeah, oh, yeah 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 oh. yeah 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 you know stuff like yeah. so it's everybody's yeah. style yeah i know so, so since we're still on styling kai can we just play uh, m- m- let's move on a little bit this is what i've realized love, but sometimes it hurts instead Listen to instead at the end, no? The word instead. Okay, hang on. Here's the next one coming up soon. I think it should be. Yeah. You heard the word how she said instead. Now, listen to the next one. So now, mm-hmm. if you that's Billy Eilish. Yes. So Adele earlier on. There's a styling these days, mm. especially for female vocalists, mm. where they take that last note, it depends on the word, mm. and they go, aid, aid, aid. Yeah. Stayed. You know, and then there's this little uh, at the end, mm. you know, of mm. the note. And I tell you, I'm like, okay, okay. That's, but Adele came out to mm. me, okay, that's her style. Mm-hmm. Unique to her. Then after that, I hear I hear Katy Perry, mm. and she does that. Mm. And then I hear Billie Eilish, mm. and she does that. Mm. I say, what the heck? It's a trend. It's oh, a trend. Gosh, you know, remember where um, back in I don't know. Uh, they have this mm-hmm. singer who sings everything like, um, uh, how do they sing it? Uh, um, time, line, line, all the all the when they. They articulate the words. Uh, it's mm-hmm. always like very, um, say, say, give me a song. Um, yeah, what? <laughs> someday time and come some yay. You know, they, yep, 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 you yep. know what I mean? Exactly. I don't know yes. what the hell I'm singing, but you yep. know, la, you yep. know what I mean? Yep. Like, yeah, I do. Hong, hong, you know, and yep. I'm like, yep. I hear this singer, a few, uh, like a month, a couple of months later, there's another singer who sings the same. Yes. Thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So it's a trend. Same thing for rap music, uh. mm-hmm. Back in our days, mm-hmm. our days, uh, mm-hmm. okay. When you have like when rap was rap, yeah. yeah you know okay. when you have like um, they rap is them, um, it's a it's it it's you can understand 
Because mm-hmm. they pronounce it correctly, yeah, la, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although it's like a lot of uh, MF, MF words yeah, and all yeah, that, yeah. right? To, today, so they still do the MF word, but it's it's the way the the, the rap music now is going like. I'm like, huh? Yeah. You don't you get know, it, right? I don't get it, you yeah. know? So, yeah, you know, that's, I, I, I tell you, you know, when my boy, when the, when the missus was expecting my son, mm. we always did this. We had, we put headphones on the tummy. Okay. When he was still in her tummy. Yes, okay. And we played stuff. Right. We played all kinds of stuff. Mm. We played from Guns N' Roses to jazz to whatever. Yeah. In my hope that, of course, music helps with the cre- de- with the development of creativity, mm. blah, blah, blah. And then when he was born and as he was growing up, yeah. especially when he was much younger, and he would be listening to my stuff, of course, because he has no control over the music, right? Yes. And guess what? He's coming 15 now. He has come into himself, yeah. right? And of course, naturally, we let that happen as well, naturally. Guess who is his go-to singer and he's so nuts over him absolutely gaga over this star make a guess don't tell me <laughs> uh, that that boy <laughs> that boy <laughs> it's a, it's, no 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 not, not a no. bieber uh, okay I, was no. like, I don't even no he hates the bieber okay thank god for that okay. anyway. what kind of, what genre mm. uh hip-hop Oh, hip hop. Oh, not Kanye? Yes. Oh. oh, man. And I was like, what? And then he said something a couple of days ago. I said, my goodness, if you were not my son, I would have strangled you. <laughs> he said, he's bigger than Elvis. Oh, no. He didn't. In have my seen. house. <laughs> Ay-yo-yo. And he's so crazy about this. He wants to save money on his own. He's a great at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah otherwise, yeah. I mean, my kid's a great kid. Yeah. yeah. And he's, he says, Daddy, guess what? Anything that's got to do with Kanye will tell me, Daddy, uh, Kanye's going to drop his uh, latest album. That was a couple of days ago. Yes. And I said, he's not going to. He's just going to. He's just going to. He's just going to drop. Because this, guy's a, this, guy is, this guy's a bit of a nutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but Daddy, I, that's why he sells. Because he's a nutter. Yeah. I said, are you kidding me, man? And then after that, it really didn't drop. I said, I told you, I told you, I told you. Mm. And it did the next day. Yes. I said, guess what? He dropped it. Yes. See, he does that shit all the time. Yeah. I say it's a nutcase. Why do you like him? It? Me- and he steals people's music, man. Yeah. He's, he takes Shaka Khan's through the fire mm. and make it his. Mm. Are you shitting me? That's not the only damn song he's done, right? And he said, but his lyrics are brilliant, daddy. I mean, his guy's a genius. Uh, I, I, okay. Maybe on a hip hop point of view mm-hmm. kids especially okay like say kids who love hip hop music they right. they listen like us we when we we have we, we see us we hear a song mm. we listen to the lyrics right right okay although hip hop has a lot of swearing and a lot of cursing and a lot of uh you know sexual content right right some rap music has got hidden hidden uh meaning meaning right right and these days, right. when you have social media, uh-huh. when you have um, what what some some theory of you know conspiracy theory yeah, and yeah, all that, yeah. you put that all together, and then you have it. You p- put a picture of this artist, say for example Kanye West, and then the song comes out. People, kids, younger generation, they're like, "Oh, I got what you mean, bro." Yeah, you know, they suddenly understand. You know, and I try to do the same thing mm-hmm. when Taylor Swift <laughs> with this Taylor Swift person. <laughs> I mean, I listen to her songs. I really genuinely want to enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, really want yeah, to and, because and? she's a pop singer. Yeah, she's huge now, man. Right? She's a yeah. pop singer. I like pop music, what? Right? right, right. So I'm like, okay, I want to know what. So, is this draw ooh. about Taylor Swift, yeah. Certain songs, okay. I think it's cute, you yeah, know? Yeah. Right. But it doesn't move me. Yeah. And I these young kids are going crazy. Yes. Absolutely. <clears throat> They're going gaga over this, you know? You know? I, I just don't get it. I, I really don't get it. Um, 
<sighs> you know, let's put it, for example, Lady yeah. Gaga. Right. Okay. Just when I say Gaga. When okay. she came out, mm. right? Mm-hmm. A lot of people say, this lady is crazy la. Her music's all but she's, blo- la. she's a bloody she- genius. Fantastic. Freaking genius. Fantastic. The way she thinks, the way she, you can really feel. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That yeah. this artist really deserve. Yeah. You know, all the recognition. Yeah. You know, whatever yeah. that she was, you know, this is all um, uh, marketing. Uh, you know, marketing when you have to wear this, you have to do that, you have to blah, blah, blah. Mm. So she's called, she, she created this whole followers. Right. Right. And then, she knows that, okay, my time is up. This generation that I'm doing, the, my followers, they right. are also evolving. Yeah. So I have to change. Yeah. And this is me because I'm changing and my followers are changing. Mm-hmm. And then they, pop, she, dis, she does a, 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 a hit song or she does a, a, a duet with a jazz, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, performer. For, for stars. Yeah. yeah. Stars. stars and then people was like, Wow, you know, she's not just, she's serious. This, yeah, yeah. this lady is a serious performer. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, we grew up uh, in, in times where we had, oh man, it's so missed, guys like um, Prince, mm. you know? Mm. I mean, that guy's a one-man band and he's a one-man recording studio. When he gets behind the guitar or any instrument, he cranks it away. I mean, that guy is brilliant. And yeah. now we look at, the likes of what's happening today, and we have Taylor Swift, and not belittling her, but frankly, she's all right. She's okay. You know, she's not like wow. Yeah, she's. Ma- it, it, they're saying her lyrics of mm. a song mm. is relatable. Yeah. To the younger generation, mm-hmm. so that's why it doesn't move us because we don't understand what you mean. Why so emo? I mean, in this your emo and our emo back then is totally different, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know. Ours was more about let's get down, let's party, let's move, let's groove, let's, you yeah. know. And now everything is just so different. Yeah, I just don't know. I'm sorry, but I'm finding it so hard to relate yeah. to that the current music of today. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and if you were to be asked, I mean, are you, I know you're no longer, you're no longer in nightlife, right? No, no. And how many years has that been since uh, you stopped? 2015 was my last 2015, 2016. It was almost 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, can you care to share why? Okay. Why did you stop? I knew there was something this, you love, you know. Yeah. This was coming. And yeah. uh, uh, it's an obvious question. Mm, a lot of people was also wondering why. Yeah. You know, suddenly just go on, you mm, know. But they're still wondering. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, when you get on stage every single night uh-huh. um, and you love doing what you do, right? Right. That's the time when you know that you got to keep on going. Right. But when, the di- when a time where you drag yourself to work mm-hmm. and you look at the surroundings, mm-hmm. your life, your family, mm-hmm. it's not the way it needs to be, mm-hmm. that you need to be present in their life in order for things to work out, mm-hmm. you need to do some sacrifices. So now you're saying that music, since you were a young child, mm-hmm. was so important to you. Yes. So much so that you really went all out there to get you to where you've been. Yeah. And then now, something else supersedes that yeah. passion. Yes. Let's put it this way. And that is family. Yes. I mean, you have a dream to be a performer you did it okay and then you have a dream to be an entertainer and a performer you did it and then you have a dream of cutting an album Mm. doing you know traveling the world like people watching your concert Mm. i never got to that yeah okay i never got to that because of a lot of aspect a lot being in singapore being in uh i would say Every performer have to be lucky. You must have you. You need to have luck, a little bit of luck, a lot of uh, a little bit of luck, a little bit of talent, a little bit of um, 
uh, what I call it, perseverance. Mm, perseverance, okay. Yeah. So you have this, you'll be able to do it. Okay. Right? But if you don't have that luck, right, then you still have this too and you're happy with that. But then you also have a life to go on, right? Mm. So look at something else. Okay. Right? You still got that. God, mm -hmm. God gave you that talent, you know, but he didn't give you um, the opportunity for you to become bigger. Accept that with grace. Okay. All right. Maybe it's not my, it's not my calling, mm. you know, then, okay, fine. What's <laughs> next? What should I do? You know? Not your calling. Are you kidding me? Oh God. There's so many opportunities for sure, me. Sure. But when we talk about a calling, of all people that I know in my life, mm. that is, uh, you know, that especially in this world of music and entertainment, yeah. I can personally say that calling for, that this is certainly a calling for Aliyah D. And I want to also say, say this, I picked this up from everything you've said. You said here in Singapore, mm. would you care to expand on that? Mm. Let's let's really call a spade a fucking spade. Yeah. Here in Singapore, why? Why? Okay, let's put it this way. Mm. Um I I've been a singer mm. in the club scene mm. all my life, mm. all my adult life, I would say that. Right. This is, you know. And I never had that big opportunity to be able to do shows, um, doing an album, cutting an album mm. or whatever, because mm. I need to work. Right. I need to, my mom was a single mama. Mm. Right? Earn a living. Yeah. yeah. I, need, I need to work. I need to earn a living. Mm. I need to, I, I, I need, Basically, I need to earn money. And so that's unless, where, of course, you're a rich kid and you're yeah talented, then you're okay. Yeah. Then your parents, the parents will say like, you want to become singer? Okay. You you want to be a performer? Okay. I bring you to school. You study Berkeley. You this, yeah. you take whatever, blah, 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 blah. You know? For me, it's old school, man. I learn, I perform every single night. You know? Doing, that's why when I watch movies like Elvis or Celine Dion, mm. they work every night, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. I do exactly what I what they do, but they're doing their own music, lah. Yeah. Right. I do their covers. Mm. The only reason why I do that is because I have to work, <laughs> and I can't find anybody who's like, "Hey, do this. Mm. Can you write a song? I cannot write a song. Okay, I'll get you good songwriters. Right. They, that that person, one person that believes in you, and they think that let's do this. You got it. Mm. Right, you believe, you, but you believed in people. I believe in people. Man. You believed in you believe in Hadi Mirza. Oh yes, and you coached him. Yes, for the Asian Idol Finals that he won. No, I didn't. Okay, okay. And which what do you coach? Uh, Where for which one do you okay. coach him for? I basically I just coached him as a performer. Okay, okay. So he just I think he just finished NS at that time. So this was way before Idol. Oh, yeah. So, so you, you were basically his mentor. Yes. Wow. And until today, he tells me, he says, Aliyah, you're my mentor. You know, I said, bro, come on, man. I said, you are. You know, he says, no. We, Hadi and I, we always have very deep conversations. Right. And I always say, bro, I, you know, what you have back then, lah, mm. what you have that, you know, that fame that you have, mm -hmm. you know, that... I don't, I don't want to sing every night also, bro. Mm. You know? But he tells me, he says, Aliyah, but that's the time when you're free, right? That's the time when you feel free when you're doing, you know, like you sing every night. That's the most happiest time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You're not being controlled, right? I say, yeah, you're right. You know? So, but then I, I helped him in terms of um, how to groom him as a performer mm. on stage. Mm. You know, how to dress. Mm. Because when you are a performer, you walk into the place where you perform as an artist. Right. Head to toe, you must look good. You know, you must be on your, you know, you have to have that flair. So you've, you, you believed in people like Hardy mm. and you've didn't, no, you didn't, nobody came up to you to say, Aliyah, 
we're going to make you someone. So many. Okay. And what happened? Those were opportunities, weren't they? So many. But there are times where when you're young and you're pretty, okay. right? And then they come to you and they're like, you got it. We're doing the Bernstein thing. Yes, you got it. You, ah. you, 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 you don't sing at night anymore. I pay you this amount of money. All right. Every month I give you this amount of money. Right. You travel to KL. You travel to whatever, blah, 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 blah. You know, and be an artist, right? To be an artist and you can't write songs. Right. Right. You're waiting for people to give you songs, yep, right? Yeah. To be in that circle, you have to be in that circle. Okay, I'm trying to read between the lines okay. here. You have to be in that circle means you have to attend um, dinners mm. and with all people who are influential, influential people mm. who's got the dough, mm. you know, and then you get a, <laughs> you know, and then if, for example, if you don't have a manager who manages you, right, then you're like a, you can, you can be a, like a, like a butterfly. Butterfly, okay. You know what I mean? Fluttering around. Yeah. So you need to have that manager who really jaga you. My band was not my manager, but my band at that time. So back when, when Rinzel said, you know, he picked me, right? Mm. And then he trained me, mm. telling me how I should do, what I should do, what mm. blah, 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 blah. And then a year later, mm -hmm. The same band that left came back. Wow. Okay. They came back. Mm -hmm. I think less than a year. Lah. Okay. Maybe about six months like that. They came back. And then I remember them, whole band came and they said like, how come you never perform like this when we were performing? I said, because you never gave me a chance. Right. And ever since then, they never left. It's, Wenzel left. I stick to the band. Right. You know? And, but they were very strict with me because I was a young girl, right? Mm -hmm. So they tell me I was not supposed to hang out in places like Newton by myself. That was very good of them, actually. Oh, yeah. They took care of you. Yes. Mm. Want to makan supper? Mm. Oh, they will go with me, mm. right? And they were very uh, strict on people that I mix around with. Right. That's pretty good of them, really. Yeah, that's, really? I think that, this, that you need to be disciplined, especially working in the nightlife. That's like family, man. Yes. Mm. Until today, today uh, mm. they are like my heart. Wow. You know? Wow. So, until to a point where other musicians thought I was very sombong, you know, they thought they were stuck up, lah, you know. But, but in actual fact, it's because I was, this, they groom me to a point where you need to be professional. Mm. Mix around with the right people. Mm -hmm. You know, everything haywired after I left the band mm. and I had to control my on my own, right? Right. That's where it's a very tough, tough thing to do. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going all over the place, but because every, the, my story, my, 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 my music career in the scene, in the nightlife scene needs to be uh, very I need to explain to all of you that being in the nightlife as a singer, as a performer is not easy. Mm -hmm. Especially for women. Yep. One small mistake you do. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Nobody will want to hire you yeah. anymore. No, no. They will hire okay. you. Okay. Right? And? For you to get up because I've built this reputation for myself. Yeah. I really jaga myself. Right. And when you when that was taken away from me, mm -hmm. right? When I'm on stage, I didn't have that confidence. Okay. All the years that I've done, mm. I can just do this. People will pay attention on my clicking, mm. right? It's all gone. And that's where I know, no, I can't do this anymore. Oh, wow. Yeah. When, this, you, when you left yeah. the nightlife and your full-time performance for uh, performing, there must have been an itch that you just have to scratch, right? No, until today, bro. Yeah, so you you would you did still continue to perform somehow. Yes. yes. And you're doing what private gigs? Yes. Gigging. So 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 uh, uh, I only do events. Mm -hmm. Um, when uh, um, there's an event, who who's like um, they call me and they says that you know will you be able to do this? Right. You know? Then I'll look at the schedule, my kids' schedule. Mm. Um whether my husband would be able to watch the kids. Right. Okay. 
he says, okay, go for it. Okay. Then I'll do it. There's, you've done, you've done clubs a lot oh. when you were in a nightlife. Yeah. You've done concerts as well? Yes. Okay. This is fantastic picture. I just love this picture. Kai, do you have that one? The one, uh, uh, um, that, oh, wow. <laughs> Ali Adi, check yeah. you out. There yeah. you go. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then of course your own private gigs, you know. Yes. And the concert, something. This was probably yes. a concert, I think. Right? This you, is this was a um like a fashion show. Right. So they had me to perform when the models were modeling. Yeah. Right? Um nice, simple gig, but it was like a big, big it's a big set, man. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look fucking simple to me. <laughs> yeah. I've seen the ones that you've done also for Singapore uh, for tourism board. Yeah, right? I did a lot back yeah. then, yes. Yeah, wow. And then between all these things, clubs, concerts, and private gigs, mm. is there a difference in your audience? Um, Is there a difference in the audience? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And yes. you, ad you adapt to all. All. I even had... You see, when people come to watch my show, they know that I like to talk mm. also. Mm. You know, I like to entertain mm -hmm. because you, when you come to a club where I perform, mm -hmm. you're not watching just a band mm -hmm. that plays covers. Because mm -hmm. everybody, every club you go to, we'll they'll be play playing covers. covers yeah. What is different about you? You know, mm -hmm. every band has, has to have a distinctive uh, character. Right. Right? So we have uh, energy who has, you know, mm -hmm. um, this this distinctive um, uh, um, uh, 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 style, okay? Right. Then you have, um, back then lah, huh? mm -hmm. energy, you have Chive Talking, you have Wendy Ko, you have uh, all these all these people, you know, you see, then you know that, okay, this band plays this or they do this, right? Mm -hmm. So what is Aliyah? What does she do? Mm-hmm. So my thing was always to be able to entertain, especially tell jokes, be witty, be... And I was young, I was sexy, eh? I was young, I was sexy, <laughs> like, sexy, yeah. And then after a headphone drop. Uh, headphone. <laughs> <laughs> young, sexy, you know? I was spunky, I mm. was witty, I mm. was... I didn't give a rat's ass who you are, mm -hmm. right? If you want to gatal with me, you come, come, get on stage. And then I'll make them make sure that you think I don't have the balls to mm, tell mm, this. You know, mm. I'll make them in the spot, you know? Right, right. So, but after embarrassing them a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, then I will butter them up <laughs> with a song that makes them go, ah, oh, you know? Then they they want to come back for that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I ever performed, this bugger, this guy probably had a bad day. Lah. Okay. Okay, baby divorce or got thrown out from work or whatever lah. Uh -huh. He was at the bar. Right. Okay. He was at the bar. I've never seen him before. Okay. So, he had a drink. Mm -hmm. Usually when you have um, uh, regulars, they won't have a drink. They'll have a bottle. Right. Okay. He had a drink. Mm -hmm. And then, he sat down and then, when I was entertaining because somebody's birthday or whatever, mm -hmm. this guy said, Shut up and sing la. Oh dear. You know? <sighs> and then a part of me like, oh my God, who the hell is that? Mm. Right? It's so embarrassing. That's one. Yeah. Number two, how do I cover that? How yeah, do I? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, and then I said, okay, you gotta be ballsy to do the next thing. Yeah. So after singing birthday song, blah, 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 the person sits down. Uh -huh. And then I said, okay, that gentleman by the bar. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm on stage here. Yeah. He's at the bar. Okay. And then I say, like, what happened? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> you know? And then he was like, shut up and say, la, you know, that kind of thing, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. So I said, okay, what does a woman have? They have charm. We need to charm this guy. Okay. Right? So I go all the way to the bar mm. and I ask them to play some love song, I think. Mm -hmm. Some little, I can't really remember what song. Mm -hmm. I came to the bar, I sat next to him. Mm. And then I sang, you want me to sing? I'm singing, I forget about other people around here. I'm singing just for you. Mm. And I sang a love song for him. Okay. Right? 
the guy just he felt honored. Right. He felt embarrassed. Yeah. He felt like uh, like oh just go, go just go just go you know that kind mm. of thing like but I said that I hold his hand mm. and I said don't worry about whoever's around mm. just you and me mm. and I just looked at him and I sang the song yeah right and then after that I said and everybody was like clapping right then yep. he said he in like that he said no 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 you owe me a bottle. <laughs> so, I got him to buy a bottle. <laughs> so I said, win, win, law. Yeah. Right? You want to make so much you? noise? I say for you, no, right? you buy a bloody bottle. So, but then, of course, he don't want to buy the same. Right? So kui. he so had to buy kui. a bottle and I yeah. made sure he buy a very good bottle. You know? Okay, madam, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring because we've been talking for about, oh, about have we? <laughs> an hour and a half so far, uh, and just two more things we want to know. Yeah. Just two more things. Um, you left the nightlife. You're still gigging, which I'm so glad that you are. Yeah. We cannot lose Aliyah D in the Singapore music in the music place, yeah, or music space. And you started this thing. Yes. Started what? Okay, people, you need to know there's a very startling difference. You've seen pictures of Aliyah D in the earlier years, right? And then now you have this particular look with this turban on a head. Head wrap. <laughs> head wrap. Turban, so, turban. And she's, she's in the studio. She has that turban on her head. <laughs> turban. <laughs> And you started this, okay, so, okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. It's a head wrap. Yeah. Yes. And you started this business. Yes. Yeah. So how did this happen, man? Okay, you're walking around. I know now. And this is your signature. It's been for a few years. Yeah. Everywhere you go, Aliyah D has got a head wrap on. Yes. Any particular reason besides for the business? Is there any particular reason? Oh, yeah. Of course. Okay. Like I said, you know, ever, I'm always ever ev uh, uh, evolving. Evolving, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I, um, after I stopped singing, mm -hmm. performing nightly, um, I, of course, became more religious. Okay. 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 So, <coughs> besides having a hijab on, mm -hmm. as a Muslim, you know, mm -hmm. I told myself, I said, okay, I still need to have my identity, ma. Okay. Right. I need to create something, something lah, you know? Yeah, okay. So I know that some um, religious people out there will not be able to accept the fact that a head wrap is a hijab. It's not a hijab. A head wrap is a head wrap. Right? right. Okay. So there will be critics in the uh, Muslim community. Have there been? Yeah, of course. Okay. You know, but I specifically... Um, wanted to do to to have that because I can't obviously when I when I'm called to do an event to, for a show mm -hmm. firstly I don't want to wear a wig okay because they say you have to cover your hair really right? okay. yeah so I don't want to wear a wig then what's the point yep right okay so I'm like okay but I s still want to perform they still want me to perform mm -hmm. okay so mm -hmm. I said okay let let me just do something just create something. So I do, I have, I've seen other Muslim performers, perfor, per, per, performers who does, uh, head, rap. uh, head wraps or, okay. or, 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 or yala, turban lah. Right. Right. And I say, okay, that's not too bad. Right. But I want to have another step up. Mm -hmm. Right. To, to, to create bold colors, bold designs mm -hmm. instead of having one plain one. And, mm -hmm. you know, so I want to use creativity because I'm a very creative person. So making this, making something that is hopefully in your mind yeah. that would still adhere yes. to, for religious purposes. Yes. Right? This is not specifically for religious purposes. Okay. For me personally, because I am performing mm -hmm. and I still, uh, I'm still performing, but I want to make sure that I cover my hair. Right. So I use a head wrap. Okay. Okay. That's one. Which is basically adhering to, yes. to, 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 for religious purposes. Yes. Because I, yeah. I, I made a vow to myself that. But you want to make it fashionable. Yes. Fashionable. Although, okay. like I said, mm -hmm. major, uh, most Muslim community or some mus Muslim community will disagree on what I'm doing. Right. Or what I'm portraying. Right. Portraying. Okay. Right. But let's not get into that. Okay. Okay. What I mean is when I create this, okay. And I thought that, hey. There are um, Muslim ladies mm -hmm. who 
just started to wear hijab and they're still trying to find the style. Okay. Like me. Okay. That's why that's where they're like, Aliyah, it's so nice. You can pull it off. And I says, if I can pull it off, you can pull it off too. Okay. Okay. Second, that's the second reason. Mm-hmm. Third, I had a couple of my friends when I was going through this uh, changes in my life, all right, putting a hijab and all that. I had a couple of my friends who passed on because of cancer. Okay. Okay. So during this time when they were losing hair. Due to chemotherapy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, they had caps on. They had really struggled to. They Try put, to find yeah, a way to look. Even putting on a wig or so. Yeah. It's like. I, they don't really, you know. So, and then I dolled them with my head wraps, mm-hmm. you know, and they look great, mm. you know. So, and I said that, so let me create this. So not regardless only, of race, actually. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. You know, so yeah. I had my dancer friends because I had a lot of performers who are, uh, you know, who are dancers and all that. And I said that, hey, y'all want to go to the beach? I give you a head wrap, okay? You don't want to damage your hair, right? With the sun, right? So you, wear their bikini, put on the, you know, they look so cool in it, yeah, you know? Yeah. So then I said, hey, this is a good. When you, how do you figure out how to wrap that wrap on your head, man? I mean, there are more than just one way of oh, doing it, right? Yeah, but I tell you, in the beginning stage, it's all trial and error. You think you're so nice, right, when you use, right? Uh-huh. Then a few few walks later to the bus stop or whatever to wait taxi or whatever you see thing, thing going <laughs> down you know or e- either that or it's like oh it's so tight oh, oh my god you know, I, I, you know <laughs> cut I mean? circulation to the brain yes so uh, so then I, I I said okay before I sell this mm. let me try it on my own so that we've I tried, got, tried, we, tried. We, we found this we found this video uh, uh, you you know, I think it's more like instructional. Can we play that one, please, Kai? Oh, tutorial, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Instruction, oh, yeah, yeah. It's instructional, wow. Uh, yes, yes. It is what, right? yeah. And there you go. Uh, yeah. It was that pretzel thing, man. <laughs> I was. Why are you putting? Why are you putting these things? It is a buckle. It's a buckle, bro. It's a fucking pretzel. It's a buckle. People use buckle, <laughs> right? Ah. So you can accessorize it with buckles. Oh, so you get hungry, you take it out, you can chew on it too. Uh, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is the. Eh, you see. So this is. This is called a pretzel wrap. No. I'm just giving you... This is called a bandu wrap. A what wrap? A bandu wrap. A bandu wrap. I'll tell you something, man. If you change the name of that to the pretzel wrap, you probably get more sales happening. <laughs> I remember telling you when I start, wanted to start this business, remember? Yeah, yeah. I told you and FD, I said, I'm going to start this business. Blah, blah, blah. You're like, oh yeah, madam, what are you going to call it? I said, I'm going to call it, it's a wrap. Burrito? <laughs> yeah, both of you know the clowns know you're telling me this. I'm like, what burrito? It's a wrap, what? You think it's a wrap, what? Tacos? Burrito, tacos. Oh, shit lah. <laughs> and oh, seriously, man, when you told us it's going to be called, it's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that the only thing that occurred to us was eh, must be Mexican lah. <laughs> you it's rap, a rap. Yeah, taco, burrito. <laughs> See what rap is this? <laughs> yeah, I remember saying, but it's a nice name. What? Dad said, okay, cannot put. I must put. It's a rap by Aliyah D. Ah, uh, now it's Ooh. it's ah. Uh, so Aliyah D now sells burritos. Your head. <laughs> <laughs> If I know how to make burritos, probably, yeah. <laughs> now, now that you jogged my memory, I think I, I remember, remember FD and I were laughing our heads yeah. off, man. We nearly fell off yeah, our I remember you all you're looking at me like, hey, <laughs> madam, you're, oh, what, what's this? Man. You're stylish, huh? I say, yeah, I'm going to start a business. I'm like, oh, so this all is- of a sudden, the Aliyah we knew that had long hair yeah. all the time Oop, yes. comes in with this thing on the head. Like, What's happening to... Hey, but I'm telling you honestly, yeah? mm. <sighs> I've been in this entertainment business for so long. Mm. And then when I, I... How I knew you, obviously, is because through the MC Academy, yep, right? Yep. Where we, we did this together. Yep. And then I remember I was also managing you, yep. right? Yeah, um, you were. Yeah, and, and I remember... Going, you know, I never had problems with 
dealing with anybody mm-hmm. in the entertainment business mm-hmm. at all mm-hmm. because visual mm-hmm. visual they look like wow this girl <laughs> hot ah huh? right and then my name is Alia Demelda Sharma I, yeah. I signed them an email yeah. I, you know send them an email it's got Alia Demelda Sharma like, what is what is what what is she Indian uh, Grago what uh, very know? curious people must yeah, want right. to meet you lah Scully uh. when you come one girl with the turban <laughs> <laughs> I'm like and but oh, they 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 were like oh are you the same girl are you the same lady, <laughs> but uh-huh, okay uh-huh. something serious about this okay uh-huh. their perception mm. yeah they look at you mm. thinking that she doesn't know shit you know like um I remember uh, accepting a check right okay mm. because I remember I I said you want my artist mm. or you want my MC mm. to perform mm-hmm. or to, to do the show you need to give a 50 percent up front up front yeah right after the show or before he gets on stage give me the check yeah right yeah okay so i remember i had this meeting with this individual yeah and before we left and i says uh he said oh yeah she looks at me she oh yeah uh payment ah. you know i mm-hmm. says I says, of course. I'm like, of course. I will never forget. Uh-huh. I need to pay. I need to make sure everything's in check, you know. Yeah. Me and my witty self, right? This is how she passes the check to me. Okay. This is a wow. business that we're dealing with. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the pers- but before this whole thing, when she met, b- before she met me, okay, it was all like, yes, ma'am, yes, 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 okay, no, very nice, nice, you know, all that, and and oh, I can't wait to meet you in person, blah blah blah. But she met me because I wear this, right, or or maybe perhaps portray as a Muslim woman, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, this is how they treat. I don't. I've never been treated like this before. Mm-hmm. Okay push the check like that. Oh, so dear. I give it a benefit of the doubt. Maybe this lady is probably being, you know, chummy chummy because I'm also chummy chummy with her. But that's not a way, that's not the way to be, especially when it comes to money. Eh? Yeah. Right? You give nicely. Right, nicely. Okay. Or you give, okay, <coughs> sign here, please. Or something like that. Right? That's one. Second, go to a shop, right? To go and get um some outfit mm-hmm. done. And spoke to the salesperson. Mm-hmm. I spoke to the person in English, mm-hmm. right? How I'm talking to you right now. Mm-hmm. And she tells me, cakap Melayu lah. Okay. Then I'm like, and this person is Chinese, but she's probably Malaysian or whatever, right. lah, you know? Yeah, okay. But this is a boutique. Ah. Right. Okay, it is a boutique. Cakap Melayu lah. You know? Uh-huh. Then, <laughs> I'm like, Cakap Melayu? I said, <laughs> I said, uh, I said, no, Cakap Melayu means speak, speak Malay. Malay. Yeah. And I'm wondering why? Mm-hmm. Why am I offending you or you can't speak English? Mm-hmm. Because all along you can speak English, but when I talk to you even more, I say, oh, uh, I need this to be a little bit more tighter. For example, I said mm. something like that. Cakap Melayu lah. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> why? You know, even get into a cab. Right. Right. Uh, uncle, can you take me to the da 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 I said, and I said, uh, bukan, no. Okay. Right. Melayu lah. Then I said, saya boleh cakap Melayu. I said, mm. tapi saya bukan orang Melayu. Then? You know, stuff like that, right? Right. And then, then I understood that Wherever you go, stereotype. as yes, as a uh, you you try to dress in a certain way, people stereotype you as like you Malay, you talk Malay lah. Mm. You know, you you. <laughs> it happens to the Chinese too, but I'm you. sure. Yeah, I'm sure it happens to the Chinese as well. Chinese people will say, "Why do you speak to me in Chinese? Why sure. must you speak to me in English?" I'm you sure, know, I'm and sure. I I never understood that shit. <coughs> frankly, I really don't. Uh, and yeah, you know, I I I really hope that that check incident you've had had nothing uh, to do with when you were managing me or is it my it show? It was. It was. It was my it show. Was, it oh, was your dear. show. Yeah. It was your so show. So whoever that dickhead was. Yeah. Oh, well, your dick. I was just. I was mm. just blown. I was. I couldn't believe my. 
my eyes and my ears and how I was treated. You know, that's the, that's, 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 that's the thing, you know. I, I The reason why I have this tribute show, Leah, is simply because to four musos and, mm. and icons in our music industry. It's simply because I think a lot of musicians and entertainers in Singapore are not cherished, not respected, even in basic respect I'm talking mm. about. Yeah. Mm. And not appreciated enough mm. by people across the board, not just in Singapore, I think, safe to say, I think kind of global now. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but naturally here, I'm talking about here as well, especially here in Singapore, because it is about our local musos and yeah. entertainers, right? Um, and, and I mean, people don't do things for free. People mm. don't do things for 20 bucks. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And pay, pay musicians and entertainers on time. Yeah. And then don't forget that we've really lost in my, and I've been saying this, and, and I, gosh, I really feel like a parrot. Um, we've lost our soul because we've lost our music. Mm. Well, in the recent budget announcement, well, I really hope it works. You know, but when they say the arts, they always leave out entertainment. Yeah, it's sad, you know. Yeah. Again, I hear it yesterday. I mean, the budget was announced yesterday, right? Um, and okay, you're going to pump money, good money into the arts. Arts. Are you talking theater? Are you talking drama? Are you talking dance? Are you talking about modern dance? Are you talking about ballet? Are you talking about classical music? What happened? How about Musos. Mm. How about entertainers? Yeah. You know, um, um, I I really hope that I'm wrong about this, mm. that it really would also go a portion of the budget to entertainers. Because our, our night scene now is muted, man. Yeah. Uh, Danny Long is on the show. Watch the episode. I, I'm not going to talk too much about that because- yeah, we, I, You know, I've never walk, worked with him. Really? Never. Well, one day when, when I, when I'm, I'm, when I, hey, Danny, <laughs> I'm still waiting for that phone call, your invitation to come to Blackbird together with you. I'll drag Aliyah along. <laughs> yeah, you got to meet this lady. Okay, you really got to. And that's he done favor for you already. Um, and um, yeah, and, and we both agree, you know, I mean, look, how many places do you find in Singapore, the exception of Timber Timber Plus mm. and, and Blackbird, where you have got really good five piece bands playing, at least a five piece. Yeah. You see, you see people, club owners or bar owners who no longer have the su sufficient budget to hire musos, let alone your own DJ. Uh, because why? <laughs> Rents. Revenue and your yes. profits going to rent. Yeah. Right? So, so you, these people can't afford to get in maybe more than one or two piece to play mm. and, or even a DJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back in the day when you were performing, man, and when I was partying as well, right? It's, it's, it's Singapore is vibrant. Yes. Everywhere you go, you hear music, man. Yes. You, you hear good bands really playing, right? Um, well, I'm not going to go on and on about this yeah. uh, because as I said, watch the episode that I've had with Danny and you will hear a lot more. But it's really sad. The situation that we are in as a country, as a nation, where music is concerned. Music, I'm talking about real music. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, and whatever we hear now, the young people hearing today, they think it's good. Oh. <laughs> you don't know what you've missed. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't know what you missed. You know, actually, you come with when we talk about music. Mm -hmm. I I would say that the current um music uh, or singers like people like Bruno Mars who create yeah. songs yeah. that has elements of uh soul train elements. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. Those you know. Yeah, so man. that 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 really when he when he came to Singapore mm -hmm. uh, a couple of years back, my husband and I mm -hmm. we bought the most expensive ticket mm. just to watch him perform and try to understand why is this guy or his show is different. Different, right? Yeah. yeah. So when we went to watch him, mm. we can understand because first of all, he sings from his heart. Yeah. Okay. His musicians perform like it was their last performance. Oh wow! You know he his 
it's just spectacular. Mm. You know, simple, very simple. It's like watching, it's like watching um, uh, Jackson Five boys to men all roll into one boy group whatever yeah. all into one and yeah. then you've got these elements of funk yeah. um hip hop rock yeah. everything into one yeah. and 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 the love songs yeah you know it's just like wow this these guys guy got it all amazing. Huh? yeah filipino yeah here we go blood you yeah. know they've got that you know that soul look at journey man journey is still <gasps> moving on so well without steve perry with arnell Mm. You know, and Arnell's Filipino. Yes. And that guy can carry us, can carry, can, can carry a performance. Yes. You know, and can carry the notes that Steve Perry left behind his legacy, you yeah, know, as far yeah. as I'm concerned. Yes. You, it's hard to do with Steve Perry, man. Yes. And, and Journey is still, I mean, the rest of the guys, the original members are all freaking old now. Yeah. But they're still going on. They're still going on tours. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, longevity. But the Filipinos, the moment, you see, that's why Dennis Fu was really clever before. Mm. Brought, brought in the Filipinos and gave Singapore musicians competition. Mm -hmm. When these guys came in, they were like serious about their stuff. They were, they were passionate. Yes. Right. And, and the talent was raw. I mean, mm. raw in a sense that it's not technical, as you said, yeah. they're all musical. Yes. It's brilliant. It was brilliant. Those were brilliant years. And, a lot of our own musicians grew, had no choice. Yes. Then when we had the likes of the late and great Iskandar Ismail, mm. then we had K. Hamid, mm. and, then, and our bands were made to go, we got to really up our game. Yes. And they were upping the game, mm. you know, and which people like me on the, on, on the other side was just enjoying it. Yeah. You know, cause I go in and I hear good music. I watch great performances. It's fantastic. And in those days, we never had the likes of, Taylor Swift coming to Singapore for concerts, you know, you two co-play. No, yeah. we didn't have the luxury, man. You know. No, we really didn't. I, I, I was at fucking Boney M <laughs> in 1978 <laughs> or something like that. Right. And, and, and one other concert did we have? No, Ooh. none. Yeah. We had nothing. But what we did have though, were our own. Yes. Music. Yes. In this country. You know, exactly, by, uh, even playing on radio by great radio jocks, man. Uh, even, even, you know, going into any bar, you know, you're going to get something really good enough, at least. You know, I, I, I don't know if you have ever seen this. I think it was um, some New Year celebration or whatever. Lah, okay. Mm -hmm. They had, it was like way back in the 90s, I think. Right. Is it 90s? So in Singapore? It, no, 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 Millennium no. Countdown. No, it was it, it was on TV. Right. Okay, I remember watching it. Uh -huh. Okay, it was Anita. Oof. Okay, it was Anita. It was um, so many of this. I think it was. I think it was Rolling Good Times. Rolling Good Times. Um, Anita, reunion or something like that. No, Anita Zerot never came back. No, no. Right? Okay, maybe maybe not. They had Douglas. They had Anne. Yeah, they yeah. Had um 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 um. Rito, Gonzo, Rito. Gon, Gonz, uh, What's her name? Gosh. Uh, Gronzol, Gron, I don't know. Oh, Anita Gronde. Yeah. Uh, yes. Burung Kakak too. Yes. And then they had um, so many lah, you know, mm. but basically they came out and did their bit. Yeah, yeah. Know? That was, was a Rolling Good Times concert. Was it? Yeah. And then they had the winners come back to perform and all that. No, Rito, no. Rito, uh, Rito. No, no. I don't, I don't think so. I think it was just a new year, new year celebration. Oh, really? It was fantastic, bro. Oh, my God. Nowadays, you will never be able to get that. Mm -hmm. You won't. People forget who Anita Sarawa was. Even Catherine Ong. Remember Catherine Ong? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. It was, um, those were amazing years, man. I mean, real live wires on stage, people who could go on TV, people who go live on stage at a club, on, on stage, anywhere yeah. for that matter. Th there's no perception yeah. of you sing in a club, you cannot sing for this event. Nothing like that. Nowadays, you have that, no? Yeah, but in the past, right, what the media used to do, mm. Channel 5, Channel yeah. 8, yeah. you go to a club in your, or in those days, you call them discos yes. or a bar. Yes, yes. You hear a good band, you yes. invite them to yes. the TV studio and they perform. Yes. You know, that's how we knew people like Gypsy, you know, including Tokyo Square, Gingerbread. But these were, these guys were playing in clubs and mm -hmm. they were also performing for televised audience. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, it's, 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 
That was great. Everyone yeah. was working hand in hand, hand to in promote hand. music That's, together uh, in Singapore. Exactly. Yeah. That is what I was trying to, you know, if only you have the, the support from every channel, yeah. you know, from yeah. any channel that has got to do with uh, the media, lah. Yeah. Okay, from the from the uh, 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 newspaper, right? Um, to radio. Yeah, to but they're only promoting their own people now. Y- that is what I'm yeah. saying. Why though? They're promoting so the many- news of, of 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 their own artists. You know, their own artists in on in in today or I'm saying already <laughs> CNA or you know. But, uh, but back back then, you have so. <laughs> Different races yeah. and everybody's like yeah. It's like and the watching- bands, the bands was such a great example <laughs> of multi, uh, you know, multi racialism. Mm-hmm. Where you have Sing- Singaporeans, or even if they're not Singaporeans, it doesn't matter. There was no xenophobia involved. You get come to, you come together. You can have an Indian, you can have a couple of Chinese. You can you got Eurasians in there, you got yeah. Malays in there, yeah. and then we were making music together. Yes, and I think that is such an important facet of of our. Social compact, mm-hmm. in my opinion, you know, and, and, and we cannot lose, we cannot lose music here in Singapore. We can't, you know, it really hurts me. Yes. It really does. Anyway, I want to, I'm, well, we're going to end the show yeah, in a special to, way. Yes. Yeah. In a special way. Uh, and, and, uh, guys, you will enjoy this. I hope you will. Because, you know, not every time I get a chance to sing of a diva. <laughs> um, but just just before we do that, just before I break into song together with Aaliyah, um, I want to show you this video because I don't want this to be confused because, you know, we're singing a love song together. And <laughs> this lady, she is so madly in love with the man she married and vice versa, the man who married her is so madly in love with her. My goodness, these two people, and they're, they're on my socials, the lovey-dovey things they write to each mm-hmm. other openly in public or online until I can die. It's so saccharine my get diabetes. Uh. Okay, before 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 you exp- you, you tell her, uh, I need to explain. Whenever we write oh, all this lovey-dovey oh, stuff boy. on our social media, mm. we mean everything. And we like to surprise each other. Like when he wakes up in the morning, yeah. he will make coffee for me. Yeah. Okay? He'll make coffee for me and then he opens his Instagram and he sees something. So that sweet, huh? He re- like, oh! Yeah. But you must remember, you no, know, the rest of the bloody world is reading it too, you know? And then, I go, alamak, there they go again, lah, these two. It, it, See, lah. Then they should, <laughs> y'all, it, it, y'all so must do, lah. I tell you, it do works it. wonders, man. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> you gotta, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be singing with her. You know, but you got to see uh, this guy. Uh, I'm like Brad Ampit. Though. This one's really Brad Pitt. <laughs> so you, <laughs> you take a look at this particular video and how these two, these two gata live each other on stage. Okay, we play that one, please, Kai. Oh my God, what video is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, my baby. My baby. You see, take a look at that guy, man. Come on. My baby. You look yeah. at that. You look at that dude. You just look at that dude. God is God's not fair. <laughs> my sayang, that one. Oh. Hello, if I'm a, if, if I don't have to be a lady, I can fall in love with him too, man. <laughs> to be honest with you, when we're on stage, we are like that at home. Really? Until today. What I'm saying is, life is so unfair. That guy's got everything, man. Look at that face. Look at the, the physique. Look at, you know, the talent. Jeez, it's not fair, man. You when you're younger, so you handsome. I don't, I don't. When I'm younger, lah. Now also still handsome. He, no, excuse me. I cannot langa my lorry. <laughs> this is called fugly. No. Rubbish. Look at that. That is, that is... Gorgeous, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm a guy and I gotta say that that man is fucking gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen, what about Paul? What about Don't be afraid. Well, see, he's so happy, you know. Uh, she lucky more happy, uh, is he? Hey, my dear darling, darling. Tell me what. Tell me, Bodo, Bodo, Bodo. <laughs> ah, my darling, I miss performing for him. 
I mean for him. I mean with him. Oh, do tell. I want to know. No children should be watching the show, so don't worry. When will you say yes to me? I tell you, really, man. I mean, this this is so damn sad, Korean man. Oh, do oh my goodness. Lao <laughs> Kong. Hey, this impromptu, ah, that one, ah, impromptu, no. <laughs> My lulling. My lulling. Uh. My lulling. Okay, Kai, I think that should suffice, man. I'm going to lose all my teeth because of all the, because of all the sugar that I'm watching on the freaking screen is going down my gullet at this point and get diabetes oh at the same God. time. I'm going to have a shot of bloody insulin. Yeah, my goodness me. Anyway, Ali, Aliyah, I thank you so very much, really. I hope you've enjoyed yourself today. Oh. It's been it's, it's, almost two hours, man, really. I, I, I cannot believe it either. You know, I feel like it's been so long that I actually spoke about about me. Yeah. And people should speak yeah. more about themselves. I enjoy doing this tribute show because practically almost every one of my guests say that. Yeah. That, you know, Chris, I, I have not spoken about me, you know. I think pe people should. Yeah. You should talk about you because when we have this crazy Asian concept of about let's be humble, but that doesn't mean... You don't have a story to tell. Yeah. That doesn't mean you don't have something that you've done that means something to people. Yeah. And and if you have, then say it, right? And we've got to learn that, man. We've got to learn to just say, I did this. Yeah. And you did. And uh, as I said, and I'm going to repeat this now, I said this to the start of the show. I'm going to say it, this to end the show. I, no one except for James Ingram and you have made me cry when they sing. Oh, thank you so much. And you have so, so often on more than just one occasion when you sing, I go. <gasps> oh, thank you, yeah. Chris. And, and honestly, honestly, man, I mean, if there's any diva I'm proud to say I know, besides Anne. <laughs> of course, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. Thank you know, you. And, and I'm proud to be your friend. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you for thinking of me, for having me here to talk about my journey in this beautiful um, business. business. Yeah, it is a beautiful business. Everyone, I've had Aaliyah D. <laughs> Aaliyah D. Aaliyah D. <laughs> on the Chris Hansen Conversation. I hope you've been enjoying the season so far. Four more episodes to go before season three ends and this is chris hansen don't forget subscribe don't forget hit the notification button hit the freaking bell yeah like follow comment say i look stupid and say and, and say i look fugly too if you want i don't care but say something this has been the chris hansen conversation i'll see you again real soon and uh really it's been two hours gotta go have my dinner good night good night Sky lit up with diamonds When I
Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Mm. 